Welcome to Mars. All right, welcome back to Mars Radio. I'm here with our next guest. Our next guest is a young superstar in the making. He goes by the name of Young Age. Age, welcome to Mars Radio. What's up with it? How's everything going for you? Not everything cool. I'm chilling. All right, so once yeah. again, just let the people know where for, where are you from? No, I'm from Oakland, East Oakland. You're from Oakland. Yeah. But you've been in the uh, 209. 209, from, heating up for quite a quite some time now, right? Yeah, like four years. Okay, and what would yeah. you consider yourself? Uh, a rapper, producer, uh, I'm a ladies pro man, uh, an I'm artist? A I'm a producer like a rap. Like Kanye and, West? Yeah, and just do other shit too. Okay, but, yeah. okay. So which one do you enjoy doing more? Producing. Producing. Yeah. And what made you want to become a producer? Um, so I used to play the game like a lot, like the video games mm -hmm. and shit. And I should just be getting boring. So it's like, my pops had a studio in like the other room and I was like, bro, let me hop on this real quick. He told me the password a little bit ago. So I got to run that. I just fucked with the loops at first and I was like, oh, this shit hella easy. But then I had to start doing my own sounds and shit. After a while, I was like, this shit cool. So you kind of just got into it because it was there and you were already doing electric like electronic so to speak yeah and already way before i was already into it i used to be on garage band and shit doing shit i never took it serious till then out then so you always been a creative little fella somewhere like <laughs> like all right that. well let's get into some of this music you've been producing man i know mm -hmm. um you've been working exclusively exclusively with livewire for a couple years now but uh -huh. as far as your sound reaching outside of that you've been able to work with some dope ass artists not yeah, even through sure. us just people tapping in with you um let people know who some of the artists are that you've been working yeah. with yeah I know we're with J Bo. J Bo from EBK. Yeah, EBK J Bo. So he's pretty much considered one of the dopest, hottest nice. artists in California. Uh, and you got records with him on his last album, right? Yeah. 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 How, how did that? Know. How did that one come about? Oh, I had that one come about. So it's crazy. Um, I was like a freshman, right? right. And there was this dude in my class, and he, he was cool at rapping. He was like beating on the desk uh -huh. on some shit. And he was like, "Make me a beat." They've been telling you to make beats. I was like, "What you want?" He was like some sad j -Bo shit with like a sample. He sent me the I hate you, I love you sample. Uh -huh. You feel me? And I made the beat for him and I sent it to him. This nigga Denver did nothing with it. Like, he, he didn't just, want it. Yeah, he didn't Oh my it. God. So some somebody could have had j -Bo's hit before it was j -Bo's hit. Damn. He ain't even funny. All you rappers out there, all you aspiring rappers, when you when you get some heat from young age, don't let it pass you by because if, if it gets past you, ain't no telling who it's going to, yeah, and they're going to benefit right. from real it. Shit. So how did uh, J-Boy's people's link up with you, or, or how did that happen? I right, so, yeah, back to freshman year, so it was like um, three months mm -hmm. after that shit. It was just my email, and j -Bo posted, he was like, send beats, the email. It was right there, so I was like, okay, I got like these two beats. Like, it was I Hate Y'all beat and like mm -hmm. one other. Right. It was whatever the other one, but I mean, sent it, and he was in jail at the time or something, so... It took hella long for him to get on it, like almost two years. Right. And then, like, I say, like a year ago, um, I was listening to Unreleased shit with the homies. Right. On the speakers, we was at the um, pool just slapping music, rolling up, and smoking, and I heard my tag, and I was like, "The fuck is that, J-Bo? And I was like, "Play that back." And he was like, "Oh, dude, I just found this shit on YouTube." And I was like, "Okay." And he played it back. I was like, "Bro, that's my tag. I made that beat." I was like, "How did he get that?" And I had to go back in my email and go see. I was like, "Okay, I remember." Okay, and then mm -hmm. his um his his management or something. Yeah, up? so like three months after that, after I heard it, I was like, okay, I didn't think none of it because usually when shit gets just like leaked, it's over with. Right. Or some shit, unless it's really really dope, like that. And I got a call. No, I got a DM first. It was like um have a call with me or something. Send my number. We'll hit him up. He was like, "What's up, bro? Um, you the producer for I Hate You, I Love You?" I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, I think so. <laughs> he was like, well, j -Bo, he just made this. How much you need? Just told him my price. Right. I mean, did then, the little paperwork. I mean, that's that. Boom. History. So, so yeah. pretty much um, making your shit available and then uh, making sure that the manager knows what he's doing when he hits you, right? Because I know a whole bunch of people probably be hitting you for free beats. And if somebody time. like j -Bo, the most most listened to artist in California possibly, if he mm -hmm. knows how to do the paperwork and everything right, you should be expecting that from all the other artists, right? My mom is, yeah. So talk a little bit like that, like how it is when, when everybody hits you in the DM or email. And, and they, free beats. Yeah. Bruh, it's not that hard to invest in yourself. And it's not like, 
No, my, my beat's a little pricey, but it's just because the creation around it. But I'm not trying to break your pockets. If you don't got it, I could work with you. Right, right. If you're willing to work, be reasonable with me. Yeah, as long as it's something, yeah. right? They got to make some kind of offer, right? Yeah, something. If, if they just say free beats or, oh, no, nah, bro, I'll get a hell of views. And then uh, you'll, you'll be like, bro, J-Bo has yeah. my beats. So you feel it's me? not like, the look. Like, look at, you feel me? Yeah. Not even on no cocky shit. Like, on some, who else, like, who else you been working with? Business. Who else you been working with? Um, you got any placements with anybody else? You got some Jay Stylin yeah, shit? Yeah, I got some Stylin, some Verdi Baby. Some Verdi Ridge, Baby. You did a whole... Uh, Back Duh. Yeah, I yes. did a whole album for Verdi, you too. You did a whole album for Verdi okay. Baby. You did um, a few songs on Back Doe's album, uh, right? You did a few right. songs on SS Rich. Mm -hmm. um, these are shits that I know about. Young Junior. Yeah. Young Junior went crazy on that hook. That's right. Yeah, so you out here working... And mm -hmm. all you artists out there, you tap in with young age, but just tap in the right way, right? Yeah, the right way. Like, bro, come at me with a decent offer and we could work. Like, I'm yeah. in y'all budget, like always. And then, and then yeah. it's better if they get a few beats or an EP yeah. or something, right? Say, say you buying beats from me all the time. Like, I throw you a hundred dollar beat. I'll charge five hundred, but I throw you a hundred dollar beat if you gonna buy a beat like twice a month, couple, just every yeah. hit, now and then you gonna keep buying. Yeah, I could do that for you, but you gotta be willing to work. That's what's up. There you like, have it, because everybody always hits me. They're like, who does all your beats? I'm yeah. like, bro, young age, you need to tap in with him right now. If you're not tapping in with young age for beats, that's right. You're fucking up. I, I always tell people, bro, I think you're the dopest artist in NorCal. I mean, as far as beats go, I don't see uh -huh. anybody fucking with you on the beats. And um, you know, shit. I mean, you hella young too, bro. I was just thinking, like, I was me and Mariah were talking. I was like, imagine when you're 25, bro. You know I'll what I mean? Like, that that's crazy, bro. You're hella saucy right now. Imagine in a few years. But anyways. Uh, let's right. let, let's get to the um to the music part. Like as an artist, what is it about rapping that that makes you want to do that? Rapping, um, honestly, bro, who don't want to be a rapper? And hey, that's me. crazy because even the ball players and everybody want to be rappers. Yeah, so. yeah. Like who don't want to be a rapper? And if you know what you're doing, you're already in the business. You can conduct everything by yourself, videos, produce, engineering, all that, and put it together. Why not? Yeah, that's that's cool. If you're doing it for everybody else, do it for yourself. Exactly, exactly. Because exactly. like, you're making somebody else hot, you might as well make yourself hot. Exactly, now, in the process. You got a younger person's perspective than me. I'm um, more than twice your age, right? Mm -hmm. So the way I see things is totally different than you see things. But when you see things, do you see things as an artist where you have to sell the art? Or do you think you have to sell yourself and everything else just comes with it? Like, do you think people are listening to you as age the rapper or mm -hmm. age the person and then you rap also? I feel like it's a little bit of both. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit of both. It just be here and there. People are different. Yeah. Know? So. So you have some fans that yeah. fuck with you because you rap, and then some fans that like, oh, that's what's his name, and he raps. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, it was just, hey, that's a rapper, and that's what he does. Nowadays, Do I mean, lot. you could just be an influencer online. Yeah. You could just, you feel drop me? a single, and you could be out of here. That's what I'm saying. That's kind of crazy though. Islands already. Like that. So. So. Um, so last time we went over this, let's go over this right now. Who are your top five that you're listening to right now? Not that of all time, just who's your top mm -hmm. five right now that you bump? I'm listening to right now, um, DB by the bag. Well, me myself first. You know I mean? right, DB right, by right. the bag. Um, yeah, back. I mean, let's just slap it back though a little bit now. Mm -hmm. Let me think. Um, R3 the Chili Man and. Uh, I fuck with it. Yeah, It'd be hard to name? say, huh? Because It'd if be you say it, the next thing you know, they start getting all like, oh, he's mm. dick riding and this and Nah, that, it's not so. even no shit. It's just recently what I've been slapping because I've been on shuffle play. So when it comes out, what oh, comes okay. out. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. I just say K Flex, bro. I've been going back to that old K Flex. That's a cool so, top five. Mm -hmm. That's a cool top five right there. That's and right. what about um your dopest five producers right now? Right now. Let's get a list of that. Mm. Um. I know you bumping that Raya for sure, for sure. For sure. sure. <laughs> Lil Raya, I gotta go with Peso. I gotta go with man Jordy. Probably Jordy's hella hard. I mean, you know some different shit like um, Twenty Seven Club slash Two Tone slash. For sure, for me? sure, for sure. Um, I mean, fuck. Who are some of these um these artists out here um in Northern California that you're trying to work with that you haven't yet? I haven't yet. I want to work with Mike Sherm hella bad. Like, Sherm, if you're watching this, you got a team. Whatever you got I going on. I think Mike Sherm on yeah. a young age beat would mm. kind of go bananas. I've been wanting to do that since I was in middle school on some shit. At first it was J, but like, 
that was like what I wanted to get done. Right. And I did it. So I already do Sherm now. I feel like I think you're ready, bro. Yeah. I think you or or Frosty the Snowman too. Frosty. I think it's hard. Right. I don't see why you can't yeah. work with both. Yeah. Right. A lot. <laughs> Y'all need to tap in with my guy right here. Oh, All right, yeah. so um, since you have a producer's ear, I would, was curious, what is the process when you're making a song? Do you like to write your shit out first, or do you do you make the beat and then decide, or do you just sit around and be like, I need to make a song about this, so let me make this type of beat and these kind of lyrics, or what's your process? Yeah, that's how it be. I just be sitting around like, let me make a song like this, and I already know what I need to make for the beat for it. So you have the idea first. Yeah, I just got the idea first. I can't say, I don't write nothing down, and it's just off the head. Right. Kids, sometimes it changes halfway through when I get on the computer. It might be a whole different type of <laughs> thing than I wanted to do when I got it. Bro, you that's why that. I could never be a producer, because I tried to be a yeah. producer one time, right? And then, like, 20 minutes later, I was frustrated. I said, ah, fuck this. It wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> dope, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't have the patience for it. What? Um, what's your favorite... Um, Equipment or or um, software to use for for production. Studio One. Let me put you on with Studio One. Studio One. Yeah, y'all don't be knowing. A lot of producers use that. Studio like, One. I mean, Echo use it too. Lariah use it. I mean, I use it. A lot of them motherfuckers use it. Everyone think they be on uh, Fruity Loops, whatever it's called. I mean, FL. So you don't do the Fruity Loops? Nah. Studio One. Studio One. Studio One needs to send you a little package, bro. You over oh, here promoting them and making all this heat on their product. Hey, they need to hey, send you some little sponsorship. It's all love. It's all love. Yeah, they need to it's they need love. to send you the new plugins and all that stuff. Oh, so, send me the upgrade. Yeah, yeah I heard the, the new upgrades. one came out. Lifetime membership or something dope. I love this. But yeah, and I fuck with it because you can mix, master, make the beat all in one session. Like, That's I mean, you do a lot, and it's all like you could do it in full. You know, like FL Studios, more like beats, not mixing and recording. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, as far as production goes, you ain't fucking with no samples, is you? Yeah, you, you don't, you don't, you ain't blessing the samples, are no, you? No, of course not. Of course you know, not, just play, but you got some of the raw yeah. samples. Oh man, um, that's my shit. I know, shit. A few of my favorite songs by you is with samples and stuff, but mm. you recently flipped that Prince. Um. Bro, what, what is it about the samples that, that take your shit to a whole nother level? Because I know your beats without samples are dope, mm -hmm. but the sample, the beats with the samples, it just it has right. a different sound that just takes it to a whole nother level. Right. It's because the platform is already there. Like, you feel me? The initial, like, you feel me? Like the framework? There, yeah. So you just got to build around it for real and make your work fit into it. It's already made. You just got to make it sound newer and make your sound go into it. Okay. And that's really not that hard for me, like, because that's how I started I didn't make my own loops for nothing. Yet. I used to just rip R&B songs and a lot of shit like that. Yeah. Well, shit. I mean, you're hella young, bro. But how how long have you been producing? Because if it's easy to you, that means you've been putting in some work for a minute. How long you been producing? Shit. So I, I used to be on the little garage band. You feel me? When I was right. when I was younger, like seven. I mean, just a young nigga. And then I've been on that serious shit since like twelve. Like twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Especially right. when quarantine hit around. So you that got time. a good what five six years, damn near. Yeah. Of producing, yeah, seriously, yeah. Hell yeah! I mean, you do anything for five or six years, you got to be pretty good at it. Yes, sir. And then that's still so crazy, bro. You still so young, and like five years are gonna be even raw, bro. That's what I'm like. I'm already. That's man. crazy. Yes, that's yes. crazy. Yeah. So what you got coming up? What are you um working on, or um what's what's uh what's next on the plate for Young Age? Um, Loria got a show coming up that I'm I'm headlining for. Her. Halloween Fest, Hollow Fest, October 5th. It's going to be in Modesto, so tap in. I mean, tickets link in bio, Instagram, always. How does it feel performing out here in Modesto since you've been out here for a nice little minute? It's cool. It's cool? For me, it's pretty cool. The support's there, for sure. The support is there, More support sure. than hate, for sure. Yeah, um, Lil Rai is out here doing her shit, huh? Uh-huh, I'm on it. It's pretty good to see, bro, and I like to see you and her working together on a lot of dope shit, you know what I mean, production. You mm -hmm. talk, Tell us about that um, producer album y'all put together. So we was just sitting around one day, and we was like, we can get some work done. We just sitting here like, what is we doing? So I said, I was like, let's make a producer album, because you just make that a little accomplishments beat song we just dropped. We wasn't supposed to drop that either. It was just like her first beat. We just fucking around in the studio. We dropped it, and it started going up on TikTok a little bit. So it was like, damn near, we already got the beat for accomplishments. Let's just make a whole little producer album together. You feel me? And it, 
That shit slapped. What's the feedback on that? How are people feeling that one? That shit slapped. People are playing that like, yeah. all the time. Y'all, so. y'all coming back? Y'all doubling back on another one? So we got it. We got some in the works. Like coming soon, maybe one day. That's what's up. That's what's up. We gonna throw it at you unexpectedly. So just. Oh, okay. Let me let me not even say nothing then. Okay, okay. I ain't heard nothing yet. If you watching it, <laughs> I ain't heard nothing yet. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so who's doper? She, is she has she got better than you yet? <laughs> she's she's getting there. I'm not gonna lie. No, yeah, she is. She's been biting. She's been biting a learning. Film. I've been teaching her for sure. Yeah, and she she a good student. For sure, yeah. I feel like she's got a good head on her shoulders because yeah. I, when I was interviewing her, I was asking her why don't you rap, and she said the perfect answer. She uh-huh. said because I don't know how to rap. Yeah, you know what I mean, and that's like she real au- art. Yeah, that's real mm-hmm. authentic because instead of just going out there for a check, she's like, "Let me do something that I respect." Yeah, which she's gonna she's gonna go far thinking that way, and then yeah. all the work you putting in as well. So, are you on TikTok? Yeah, yeah, you be fucking with TikTok. Yeah, a little How's bit, that? A little bit. It's cool. I fuck with it. I fuck with y'all. You feel me? I let her support all of you. Are you a TikToker? I love the haters too. You TikToker? Be- nah, I'm not a TikToker. You feel me? <laughs> you but be doing the little but I be I be on there like when someone's on Instagram, do you call him an Instagrammer? Like you feel me? <laughs> I don't even be on Instagram like that either. So it's just like I it's be on. It's the name, there. bro. Back in the day, we used to call those the young artists SoundCloud rappers. Uh, so it's just the name thing. It's a, yeah. Don't get offended by it. No, no, no But that's just the name that people, you know, people like me that don't be on it, and don't be knowing we. Y'all little TikTokers to us, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But do you be doing like the little dance with the hand movements and the moving your... No, nah, no, no. nah, I'm not gonna lie. I just rap a song with the phone up like this. Hey, he be doing the TikTok dances and stuff? She be yeah. trying to get me to. You be doing the TikTok dances. I suck. Right I here in the corner that. of this video right here, we're gonna put the one that we get off of TikTok showing that he does the TikTok dances right here. Nah. <laughs> let me know if you can find some. All right, so let people know how they could yeah. contact you uh, for these beats, for these shows. Mm-hmm. Um, for performances, yeah. uh, for whatever they're trying to contact you for. I so like all that shit. You feel me? What he just said. Mm-hmm. Um, you just hit my Instagram or my email. You feel me? But the email is going to be in the Instagram bio. You feel me? That's so just up. hit me up at Young Age Love Life. You feel me? No spaces, no nothing like that. Just DM me, bro. I be checking the requests when y'all ain't on bullshit and y'all actually trying to work. You feel me? <laughs> I reply. But y'all just be on some bullshit. You feel me? Like, come on. Mm. All right. Well, shit. There you have it. It's Mars Radio. It's Young Mm -hmm. Age. And we out. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Mars.